here I have a Philips TV and it's a LCD TV that's not working. It turns on but flickers and then goes off. If you hit the power button, the light flashes for a little bit and then you'll hear the hear the relay switch off. So it's going into protection mode. First thing is to remove the back casing so that we can look at the electronics in the inside of the TV. So removing the back case and then we'll have access to the boards inside. This is your power supply board and then we have your main board that's used for processing the video. So first look at the power supply board and you can see the connector here. I noticed that it was uh, it looked like there's a gap. It looks like a loose connection so I'm pushing that down. Now I hitched this up to my multimeter and I put it in AC mode and I'm just going to turn it on and then we're just going to look at what the voltage is when it starts up. So initially when you plug it in, it goes up to about 55 volts AC and then it turns off. That means it's going into protection mode. So either there's a problem with one of the mercury tubes or some other issue. So I have a mercury tube here so that you can have a look what it, what it looks like when it's powered on. Now this uses AC volts, it uses over a thousand volts to activate the gas inside the tubes. Right here it's drawing about 500 uh, milliamps at 14 volts and there's a transformer in this little blue box that's used to increase the voltage to a very high level and th that high vol the voltage is needed to activate the tubes. These That's why mercury tubes are uh, not quite as efficient as LED. I'm just removing off, you have to remove the front panel and we'll have to take off the screen and have access to it. At the very top of the screen there's a connector and then there's boards underneath that. So there's a metal panel that you can use the screwdriver to remove all, all the metal panel and that holds the screen on. Now there's this PCB that's connected to the LCD screen and, and that has ribbon cables and there's a little clip that you can push up and then you can move those this board and the idea is we want to remove it and then tape it onto the top of the LCD screen so I'm just flipping it over here just be careful not to bend the ribbon cables too much and this use an electrical tape to tape that to the LCD screen now using subsequent cups you can remove the LCD screen it just pops off and then put it on a nice uh, flat surface. I'm just using a bed sheet here. And then it has some other brackets that we have to remove. And then the side it has a little clip. We can just uh, unclip the clips and then pull up. And this will enable us, uh, enable us to get the white filters off of this, the screen as well. So I'm just taking off the side panel there. Now I tape these filters together. And then after taping them, you can remove the filter as well. And then we have access to the tubes inside the TV. This is what the tubes look like. You can see they're very thin mercury tubes and they are all in parallel. They're all the, uh, one side is all connected to ground. And then it has a transformer. I'm using my little uh, tester here, just going through each one. You can see that they are all working. And except when I want to get to the middle two, there's some issue there so we'll be examining what that issue is. At first I thought maybe the tubes were bad and um, I removed them and tested them out but they were working fine. I, I thought it was maybe a transformer. I really it took a while to figure out what was wrong. You can see the ends are soldered in there so it's a little bit hard to remove that. The other ones were working when I did remove that and then I tried to test you can see there's some sort of short there that when I touch it it's you can see the arc on those connections. So there's some issue here. So I'm gonna to have to remove this panel to get uh, to double check what it is. So here it is going right now. I have it working without those. And then if I look underneath that piece of E, you can see it looks like there's a short, it's connected going right to ground. And after removing it, that was the issue. And I put some silicon on that so that it wasn't connecting to ground and some electrical tape underneath that because a thousand volts is easily to jump. After that, it was working, so I just putting everything back together in the reverse order, putting the metal frame back on the TV and drilling everything in place. And then we can verify if this solution was successful or not.
here we go we're I'm powering it on here and you can hear it clicks on connecting it up to my laptop here you can see the Philips screen goes on solid and there we go it's working okay if this video was helpful please like the video and subscribe